Focus The focus of CQI includes Find a process that needs improvement Organize a team that knows the process Clarify the current knowledge of the process Understand the process and learn the causes of variation Select the improvement opportunities where to begin? Healthcare staff can list the types of problems they face daily in providing patient care. Often they do not believe that they have the accountability or power to do anything about it. In many organizations, staff members have not been trained in quality improvement approaches used to investigate and solve problems. Data The type of data collected will vary from place to place but commonly includes or relates to utilization or workload measures, quality or outcome measures, efficiency measures, ethics and patient rights, clinical governance and leadership, quality measurement and improvement, patient safety. Let's watch the video lecture which will give you more information about data. Data. When asked, the healthcare staff can usually list the types of problems they face every day in providing patient care. However, often they do not believe that they have the accountability or power to do anything about it. And in many organizations, staff members have not been trained in the quality improvement approaches used to investigate and solve problems. Nonetheless, Quality improvement methodology is increasingly being used effectively in many developing countries to help healthcare teams to identify problems and to find and implement solutions. The key factor in this process is the use of data to support decisions. Systematic approach to performance evaluation has the following characteristics. Uses data to make decisions. Data must come from multiple sources. It should be a good data. The types of data collected vary from place to place, but they commonly include or relate to utilization or workload measures, number of inpatients, number of outpatients, number of procedures, surgical, etc., number of tests, efficiency measures, Average length of stay, bed occupancy rate, day case rate, operating theater utilization, quality or outcome measures, unplanned readmission rate, that is the X number of days, infections patient falls, unplanned returns to operating theater, needle stick injuries, pressure sores, complications rate. Deaths, sentinel events, patient complaints, patient satisfaction, clinical governance and leadership, CGL, governance documents, management responsibility for operations, oversight of contracts, departmental scope of services and policies and procedures, space and equipment planning, staff recruitment, retention and development. Ethics and Patient Rights, EPR, Verification of Professional Staff Credential, Processes to Support Patient and Family Rights, Informed Consent, Framework for Ethical Management, Organ and Tissue Donation, Reproductive Health Policies or IVF, Termination of Pregnancy Services, Clinical Research, Quality Measurement and Improvement, QMI, Clinical Practice Guidelines and Pathways, Leaders' Involvement and Support, Infection Prevention and Control, Medications Use, Sentinel Events, Patient Safety, PS, Patient Identification, Effective Communication, High Alert Medication, Correct Sight, Procedure and patient for surgery. Healthcare associated infections. Risk of falls. Methods of data collection. The methods of data collection includes observation, one-on-one -on -one interviews, and 
document review. Now have a look at the e-lecture for more understanding on methods of data collection. Yesterday, I received a mail from a person complaining about the increased times they have to wait at the immediate care ward. You are right. I have also observed many patients complaining of the same problem. I have planned to collect data about this through feedback and surveys. Oh, that's fine. But what have you planned after that? A brainstorming session will then be organized among those who are involved with the process. The target problems will be decided upon a list of possible causes will be identified in order to take action on them. This is how data collected through feedback and surveys which help in identifying solutions for the target problem. Ways to do quality improvement Corrective action Innovation Continual improvement Management has organized a team meeting to find measures on how all the staff members can submit their agenda for discussion prior to the meeting to the concerned personnel. I have been informed that all are concerned about the issue of the ineffective team meetings that are causing more problems rather than issue settlement. So suggestions are invited from all sittings here so that we can plan some change to improve the meeting's effectiveness. I suggest that there should be few meetings. Also, the meetings need to follow an agenda. Tasks should be assigned prior to the meeting. I have documented all the suggestions and I am passing the message to all group members for their feedback. I am worried about the type of agenda item that we have to submit. I understand your concerns. However, after discussing with the managing committee, we have decided to proceed with the change. You all have to mention your topic for discussion, any other comments with necessary suggestions on paper and further submit it to the management. This new methodology is initiated to improve the efficiency of meetings that are conducted on a weekly basis. Let's see how this change has helped the team to settle the issue. I am surprised to see that only one topic has been submitted for agenda. The agenda is created with one topic and lacks agenda items assigned roles. It seems the meeting is to be held for the wrong reason. We did not know what format to use when submitting agenda items. Also, we were concerned about how the items would be used. As the issue is now clear, we will create a form for submitting agenda items and everyone will be assigned to submit one item using the form for the next meeting. If anyone has any further processing issues, they will be addressed in the same manner. Further, implementing new corrective actions, quality of meetings conducted has been improved. Employees are now more satisfied with the meetings conducted and each and every staff member has their own personal opinion about the topic concerned. Quality Tools the most widely known tools can be organized into the following eight categories. New Management and Planning Tools Cause Analysis Tools Evaluation and Decision Making Tools Process Analysis Tools Data Collection and Analysis Tools Idea Creation Tools Project Planning and Implementation Tools seven basic tools quality tools all professions have a set of tools used by their members to conduct work for example accountants use spreadsheets journals and the chart of accounts auto mechanics use pliers socket wrenches and electronic diagnostic equipment doctors use stethoscope and dentists use x-rays drills and grinders the list of tools for quality professionals is quite large because members tend to adopt and adapt techniques from other fields. Quality professionals also need to be able to apply their skills to a wide variety of organizations, processes and situations. Additionally, they need to be able to apply the tools at the different levels, micro and macro of an organizational system. Quality tools and techniques have been developed over the years 
with specific purposes in mind. Each tool has its own unique purpose, but because similar results can often arise using different tools, you need to be able to take into account situational differences when deciding which tool to apply. The first step is to get familiar with the range of quality tools available. A few tools that may be used and are most widely known are organized into the following eight categories. 1. Seven basic tools. 2. New management and planning tools. 3. Cause analysis tools. 4. Evaluation and decision making tools. 5. Process Analysis Tools 6. Data Collection and Analysis Tools 7. Idea Creation Tools 8. Project Planning and Implementation Tools